Yo, what's up, my people? This is ADG, aka the Gamer. Welcome back to ATG Entertainment, aka ADG Plays Games Archive. <laughs> Even though I, right now we're not doing gaming archives on the channel, this is a very awkward moment for me with this unscripted review. And let me explain. We've been doing usually first times in reviews for the past. Like, that's the main thing. Like, it's like, it's the first time and an unscripted review, usually in one. See, this video, I tried to start it on the ADG vs. Game channel. I thought people would navigate to that first time video, which I'm going to leave a description in the video for you guys to navigate over there. So this is part five. Just a reminder that I'm trying to grow a walkthrough channel, ADG vs. Game, where a majority of my live streams and my walkthroughs will be archived on the ADG vs. Game channel where reviews and first times will be featured over here but for everything you need to be on ADG versus game so a lot of people don't see the vision for example this video right here is, is part five I believe part five or part six let me yeah it's part five I played a good bit of amount of this game but today I'm gonna go ahead and give my review because I am so behind on the review it's, I'm probably about a month behind on this review. Uh, I've been sick and other things. It's been a very uh, stressful month. But I'm here. I'm happy to be able to uh, play this game for you guys here today. Right here on ADG Entertainment. But I want you guys to know. Link in the description. Make sure you check that out. And before we begin this... Even though I did this on my first time video on the ADG vs. Game channel, I'm going to run it back. I'm going to play the trailer. We're going to go out. We're going to play the trailer here. So we're going to go to the hub. We're going to play the trailer for those who don't know much about the game. This is the Accolades trailer. And I'm going to go ahead and let you guys know if I agree or disagree with the Accolades trailer based upon what I played so far. We're still going to play a good bit of a good amount of the game today but this is the accolades trailer i didn't play this one i know i didn't play this one i played the uh, one of the other ones but this is the accolades trailer let's um let's do this yeah this is definitely not business as usual there's no time to waste my dolatai guardians have tracked the enemy's ship Show them what you can do. Hey, watch out when you're coming down. So you're a mysterious stranger. Now that's the change of scenery. The wind of battle is turning. Well done, Urukai. Oh, shit. I mean, I know we live in a time where everybody's nitpicking everything. I'm not a nitpicker. If there's something that's really destroying the game, I will speak upon it. Something that's really uh, making the experience less than what I feel it should be, I will say. Um, I do believe that this is a game that everybody should give a try. I don't know if it has a demo. I feel like it should have a demo. Um, I'll cast a new beginning. It's probably being outshadowed by bigger names. Uh, uh, and the thing is, Outcast actually, as an IP, is known. It's been it's, it's been around for some time, but it just haven't really escalated to a level I think it should be, especially for this day and age, where people really say, "Oh, I'm gonna buy it." Um, let's go ahead and press X and start this up. So, do I agree? Yes, I do. I agree that this is a game that you need to give a try. I do agree that um, I haven't really got the jetpack yet. You know, and I'm like uh, two, three hours in the game. 
I haven't got the jetpack. I do agree that the gameplay is satisfying. The worlds look good. The story is very interesting. Um, some of the uh, lore for the people in the game, I forget their names or whatever, the, the tribes or whatever, get their actual names. And there's a, a majority of the story, this is a spoiler, a, a majority of it, you don't really know what they're saying pretty much. And then at a certain point of the game, you meet these people, you become awakened. And some of this may be a replay from my last part because the way the game saves. And sometimes because the way the game saves, it sometimes replays things over. So we need to find and talk to Emi as chief. Get to the location marked on the mini map and talk to the Talon. I will say that the font, and I don't think there's any way I can change it. Um, sometimes the font is a little... Um, small for me. I mean, for me, I mean, I have vision issues. And I don't think there's a way you can change it. It does have different um, things you can change in here. I don't even put the motion blur on. I can't talk. Okay. Remember, this is unscripted. But like I said, I haven't really uh, messed up the chip pack. I don't think I have it. Let me try it, but I don't think I have it. All right. Let's see. Yeah, I don't, I don't think I have it. I have that shield. I don't think I have a chip pack. Yes, I, I kind of got a jetpack, but I can't really fly with it. Alright, so we got it. The game does a good job about the locations and things like that. Sort of. Though at times, it can be a little bit of a hassle. We gotta get to the blue area. So the world looks very lush and I just wanted to bring y'all upon my um, adventure here today and showcase this game and remind y'all that I'm playing this on the ADG vs game channel. You guys have been showing up for even the retro content I put up so. I don't think this is who I'm supposed to be talking to. Hello Shamaz Nemet. What in the yachts? I didn't realize it before, but how did you learn to speak Agasaur so fast? See, he thinks I know the language, but I'm just automatically the speaking. Is accent I'm hearing? Really? I think the odds did something to me when I delivered their message to the Almael. Oh, I see. Praise them. Be careful, Ulukai. Activating the Daokas has caught the invader's attention. Can you heal me? Brace yourself. The odds guide my hands. So, where is that Daramon of yours? And how can I score it quick? Amiya's Daramon doesn't exist yet. The chief of the village creates a Daramon as a token of gratitude. Speak to my fellow Talans, and they will tell you how you can help them. If you're a good friend to Amiya, it's Daramon you shall receive. Good luck with that, so though. Yeah. How to make friends on alien worlds. I must have left that book on the shelf. I'll try my luck here and in other places I come across, too. I want to talk about how you can um, easily uh, watch the, the, you know, the glossary. Um, and learn more about the lore by just a hit of a button while they're talking. If you get something, you can also use that for that. It's very interesting. Remind me what a Shamaz does. See, I'm doing it I now with the Shaman the Spirit of God. Lately, my and moons have been filled with healing harvesters who fall from the trees. Sorry, can you tell me who you are again? Of course. I am Nemet, the Shamaz of Emiya. Got main topics to tell me about 
certain things. Or you can I just, gotta go now. You can leave it anytime. Um, like I said, he wasn't who I was supposed to be talking to anyway. Bring up the map. a bunch of side activities I think I'm close by Oh, here we go. Right up here. <laughs> you look important. Can I have a minute? Wherever you come from, they must have taught you how to properly address a chief. I am Hatsu, leader of the MA. And who might you be, funny one? I'm Cutter Slade. Not sure if you've heard of me. Ah, uh, yes, the Ulukai I've been warned about. Emir is not interested in your stories. I would offer you a delicious morag on your way out, but supplies are limited. Just give me a minute. What are you afraid of? I was elected supreme in front of the Yards. I am not afraid of anything. Now listen. We already have one useless troublemaker in this village. We don't need another. Who is that? You haven't met Doc yet. He's by the lake. You should visit him and swap your ridiculous stories about saving the planet. Those invaders everyone's worried about. Have you fought them? Why would I? I want to stop negotiations with them to ensure Emir's safety. Negotiations? You see what they're doing out there. They'll take your land and enslave you. Don't spit your violence at me. You want us to provoke the invaders. Emir is peaceful. We sell fruit. Nothing more. Listen, Chief Hatso, the Yod sent me here for a reason. I can help if you let me. Have you ever walked through the charred ruins of the Procriana Library? Scattered in the dirt are the remains of a hundred victims. There are no martyrs in Emir, and no heroes. We don't need any Ulukai here. That is why we live. Okay. Just how are the negotiations going? I haven't met one that I could have a conversation with so far, but I am committed to making the effort. I believe the invaders have some unfinished business in Dasan. I just want to send them a signal that we are willing to collaborate, if it can speed up their departure. Where I come from, they don't like collaborators during a war. War? Would you stop with the violence? There are no warriors here. Now go. Leave me. Drink morag juice in the treetops. Tell me who you are again. I am Hatso, you simpleton. Leader of Emir. I wish I could stay longer, but... You have to go? Good. Yeah, I don't think that guy likes me. I'm worried about you, Ulukai. Where are you? I'm still in Emir. You heard about some trouble.
Kazimir's son. Dark is a good Talan. Maybe a little lost, unsure of his essence, like his whole generation. What's wrong with this generation? Let me guess. It's those damn video games. No. There hasn't been a conversion ceremony in a dozen cycles. It's too dangerous to bring our youth to the Well of Essence. So these young Talons have no essence? Everyone has an essence. They're just not sure which of the four essences are theirs. The ceremony is meant to reveal exactly that. Well, I was a teenager once. It can get pretty confusing. They figure it out. Eventually. Slay it out. How rude! Slay it out. I'm standing right here, Ulukai. Talk to me. You must be deaf or too busy for me. I'll be waiting for you at the Dalatai camp then. Yods be praised. Leaz told me I'd have a chance to find you here. The Ulukai. I can't believe you're real. We've yeah, waited real. for so long. You didn't travel all that way just to greet me, unless I'm like one of the Beatles in your world, which I totally understand. Beatles? Sounds mysterious. My name is Emerhid, and believe it or not, I happen to be the Dalatai Guardian heading the research group that focuses on Adelpha's ancient mysteries. I guess you've heard about the Essence Shrines? Maybe I did, but my memory ain't... Okay, let's assume I did. So, what about them? What about them? What about them? I, I don't know. I really hoped you'd enlighten us, Ulukai. Well... Sorry to disappoint, then. Let me mark these locations on the map. I believe they're Essence Shrines. And hopefully you'll help crack their mystery for us. The odds are trying to tell us something, I can feel it. If you come across more of them, please let me know. Chief Hatsu doesn't want me here, so I'm heading back to the Dalatai camp near the Gandar Temple. Find me there. Okay, Emerheed. Maybe I'll look into it. <laughs> Maybe. Zakar didn't tell us you'd be so funny, Ulukai. Of course you'll look into it. Do you know how many essence shrines are out there? I have a few documented here. I'm sure you're still a long way from uncovering them all. All right. See you next time, Emerheed. As you can see, THQ, they really cared about the lore of this game and teaching you about the world around you so you feel more involved and more connected. And those things are very, always very important to a game. Um, So we need to talk to more Talons and explore Delphi to expand our knowledge. There's a lot of people around here I'm seeing got things above the head, so we're gonna just talk to them all. Hey there, uh, can we talk? Okay. Greetings, stranger. My name is Moore. Have you come to register? Register? For what, exactly? You know what? Forget it. I can tell by your hands you're not capable of working here. You're that Ulakai, are you not? You'd think the odds would bestow you with better hands. Um, uh, what's wrong with them? Too many fingers for you? <laughs> Your hands are perfect for sewing tunics and baking grease cakes for the conversion ceremony. Now go. We do real work in the treetops. I just wonder what kind of job would require big... I mean, strong fingers like yours. I guess it's your first time in Amia. On these trees, we cultivate the most delicious morags on Adelpha. My name is Moor. I am the Grand Foreman of the Harvester Union. Oh, really? Grand Foreman? Sounds important. Harvesters are more than simple farmers. The best morags grow close to the moons, on the tops of the highest trees. Very dangerous to gather. Only young, vigorous Talans can reach them. In my early moons, I would dance across the branches without fear. 
But now, the heights make me dizzy. So I took on new responsibilities. Where can I find Doc? He usually hangs around the shops. The merchants trick him into buying useless junk like clunky diving equipment and other things that never work. Or you can look for him at his father's cabin by the lake, northwest from here. He is probably exploring those lakes like his father before him. Not swimming, that's for sure. He'd revert himself in a bucket of water. I don't know what he does. Some secret project. He should be up here, gathering armfuls of morags for the next convoy. What are you doing here? When I'm not supervising the harvest, I'm recruiting new workers for the treetops. Time to go. Bye, more. Okay, for those that watch me at vs. Game, you guys know I went deeper in those episodes of talking. But since uh, we got so many people to talk to, I am not going to be doing that in this particular uh, video. I'm going to do the main things. I'm not going to go too much into the lore like I've been doing. Um, so. I do apologize if you're looking forward to me doing that, but I'm not doing that in this episode. What do you want? Morag fruit. They taste good? My citizens eat nothing else. The Morag nourishes, moisturizes, purifies our essence. Talans from every corner of Adelpha used to come here and pay many Zorkins for its unique taste. You're making me hungry, Chief. Where can I get some? You can have your fill if you climb to the top of a tree. But don't let Grand Foreman Moore see you stealing one. He's far less accommodating than me. What's Moore's problem? Moore is a retired harvester from the treetops who dreams of becoming chief. The treetops people are simple people. One needs a certain downbringing to lead. Downbringing? You mean upbringing, right? I mean class and dignity. Only citizens of the ground have good social standing. The treetops are for uneducated people, rude people. One cannot learn class, especially someone like Moore. You know, that's almost racist. It, it, it kind of, it is racist. But, let's keep it moving. That's all for now. Bye. So the lower class is at the top, and you have to work your ass off to the bottom to access the upper society. Weird logic. Where I'm from, the top is prime real estate. Only the less fortunate Talans live in the treetops. The young ones dream of climbing down the ladder of our society, just like I did. Your social logic is really upside down. Who wants to be down on the ground? The view's amazing up there. Views don't pay, Ulukai. Morags pay. If I don't find harvesters, the citizens of Emiya will be eating Reese for every meal, and that idiot Hatzo will blame me for the recession. He'll toss me back up to the treetops. I'll be forced to watch sunsets from a wooden terrace instead of cleaning the dirt between my toes. A nightmare. Yeah, that sounds terrible. I wish I could help ease your pain. You could help me sooner than you think. Have you met Doc? He's a simple-minded lad, a big fan of the Ulakai fairy tale, a dreamer, but a damn good clown. Hey, I like fairy tales, or some of them, at least. Doc was my best worker, unaware of his essence. He could climb higher than anyone. I had great hopes for him. What happened? Cosmere happened. Cosmere was Doc's father. Good for nothing slack if he fancied himself a treasure hunter but he never found his treasure, so he never climbed down. He reverted himself in the lake, searching for Yad knows what. Now Doc has caught his father's madness. He left the treetops to become the new fool in town. A fool who believes in me. I mean, who believes in Ulukai. Sounds like a great guy. 
Doc has been spending all his hard-earned Zorkins on a secret project, taken straight out of a children's story. He refuses to return to work, but an Ulakai like you can succeed where I failed. Could you convince him to embrace his essence and fulfill his destiny in the treetops? Time to go. Bye, more. I'm wondering if I ended it the way I should have. Are you and Hatso friends? There are no friends in politics. Hatso's and Mia's leader. But he believes we can negotiate with the enemy. And Mia is lucky the invaders are not after Mora. Sounds like you're in the opposition party, Mora. Are you campaigning for village leader? Each ground citizen of Amir has the right to challenge the leader in front of the yards. I did. Twice. But I failed. They say three is the magic number. The citizens of Amir still see me as the unworthy Talan from the treetops. No matter how low I descend, I still need better Morag numbers so I can prove my value to them. Time to go. Oh, I am a little upset because I wanted to showcase more uh, gameplay and I haven't done that just yet 26 minutes in that's the thing sometimes when I do these on um, reviews sometimes I have a situation where I want to showcase gameplay especially in a big game like some of these uh, JRPGs uh, this is not JRPG though, but like some JRPGs I play on I need to get to a certain area so maybe okay we got to look at the skill tree now you have enough blue helium to unlock a new jetpack upgrade press the option to open to me okay. so we get to upgrade the jetpack now we're close to getting the jet sprint the next unlock will be the jet sprint. So even though this is the unscript review, but during my journey through the game, I will be showcasing more. I want to show combat. That's why I'm out here just. We're supposed to be talking to more Talons, but I am going to take a break from that to try to find some other things. There's some missions available here. Uh, this is fine. Dope at South, outside the village. It's probably right there. kind of following the blue arrow but if you want to see gameplay honestly uh i like i said i have this is the fifth video there's plenty of gameplays link will be in the description if you want to see more gameplay but the gameplay to me was smooth in what i played I mean, you're seeing gameplay now, you're just not seeing the shooting aspects of it. Wait a minute, 
so my, oh, wait a minute, you might see a little bit now. I love third person games. I wish we had more. Cause there's mods on guns and they make them feel like machine guns, shotguns on that weapon that you can see me pull out. Look like something about to go down. What's up with that shit? Stay in the area. Oh, there he goes. Like, if you like shooters, you like open world games. I mean, this game got covered. What we got over here? Talk to me. Oh, we did a lot of talking. Hi. What is happening here? Oh my god. I can't believe it. Did the Yod send you to meet with Doc? I wish I knew. The Yods are being a bit vague with me. Who's Doc? I am Doc. Search no more. This is the place. Your old man around? Kind of. He reverted at the bottom of this lake. I tried to save him, but I can't swim and almost got reverted myself. I'm so afraid of the water. Sorry to hear that. You should learn to swim and practice makes, you know, perfect. The place. What are you doing here? Surely the ambassador of the Yods would know. I'm following my father's quest, of course. I wanted to pick up where Cosmere left off, so I quit my job in the treetops and spent all my Zorkins on a diving suit. That doesn't really work. You're joining my quest then? Well, that depends. Um, are you taking no for an answer? Sounds like a yes! Come, much work to be done. As my father used to say, practice makes perfect. Why would you build your cabin by a lake if you can't swim? The Yods laugh at me because I was denied a proper conversion ceremony. They test me again and again with water, but there's no way I'm an Aloe to land. I hate water. Father hated it too. But I will have the last laugh. I will achieve my destiny. What destiny would that be? Well, the ancients marked a nearby rock for my father to discover millions of moons later. The engraved stone foretold his only son would find an artifact in a lake. An artifact that would save Amiya from extinction. He tried to claim it for me, but water scares me even more now. Can I have a look at the rock you're talking about? My father showed it to so many people. He even made me memorize it in case it was destroyed. No one believed us. Who trusts prophecies anymore, right? Now, speaking of prophecies, I'm not sure if you're familiar with the Ulukai. Oh my yods! Of course! My father told me everything about the savior of Adelpha. It's you? That's what Liaz seems to think. I don't remember much of my past. The Yods have planned our encounter. I will show you the engravings, Ulukai. Together, we can save Amiya on your way to saving Adelpha. Sure. Who am I to go against that level of enthusiasm? What is this relic you're looking for? That is not exactly clear to me. But Casimir told me it would save my village from the invaders. If the engravings are right. So it's a weapon. You're the Ulukai. You tell me. No bother. I trust the Yods in their great design. We must make haste, though. Amiya is in danger, and Hatso, our leader, can't protect us. Show me the engraved stone. Follow me. I like his character. He's very, uh, it is. hype. Hold on. Cinematic. What's the matter? You go ahead. I'm not worthy to face my father's hazardous yet. What is this? Don't touch it! It's ancient magic! 
What the... Chalk. Ulukai? Are you alright? Um, Dak... <laughs> you should come and have a look at this. God's almighty! You touched it! What have you done? Casimir always forbid me to... Oh... Unless the ancients were into childish doodles, I think your dad was having a bit of fun with you. It's all... It's very confusing. When was the last time you came here? I was young and naive. There is no artifact. No adventure. I have ruined my life for a false prophecy. Sometimes memories play tricks on us. You know, we see what we want to see. He lied to me. Filled my head with fairy tales. I am so stupid. I should plan my reversion now. Get it over with! Look, Casimir might have elaborated on his story to make it a bit more entertaining. Kids get easily bored, There's you know. There's nothing in the lakes. Pretending there is won't honor my father's memory or mine. Wait a minute. Your dad didn't draw everything on this rock. There are ancient symbols here, see? I see what you're doing, but Hatso is right. I have to grow up. Have a look for yourself. See those shapes there? I think I know what they are. An X marks the spot. Whoa! <laughs> oh my god! You're right, Ulukai! It's a map of the lakes, and there must be something in that one. We're so close! I can feel it, partner. We're partners! Partners? Hold your horses, Doc. I was happy to help, but I have my own agenda, you know. I am so excited! You have to dive into the lake, Ulukai. You have to save Amiya! Are you even listening to what I Meet just... Meet me at the lake! People will write songs about this day! Let's go! Okay, we got rewards. We got blue helium. I'm going to show you guys the rewards. But like I said, if you want to see more of this game, ADG vs. Game, link will be in the description. Full playlist will be in the description. There's more and more. I have it back. Um, there's some, some resources here. You can use these things to do upgrades and things like that. So close to unlocking it. I want to unlock it so badly. Uh, one thing I didn't show you is the characters thing. You can look at the characters that you met. And more in the stream. There's plenty of things. The bestery, everything that you need. Plenty of lore. I love... That they really look you could tell they really loved the world that they were in and really wanted to focus on making sure they made a great game and personally i'm gonna go ahead and say it and i'm gonna wrap this up um but i am i am sorry that i didn't showcase more gameplay but i've been on a very tight schedule there will be gameplay like i said on the ag versus game channel for those that want to see that there's already episodes you can see tons of gameplay uh the, sh the shooting mechanics and things like that gonna be showcasing the jet pack mechanics personally i don't think they're gonna do anything that's gonna make me feel different about this game i think this game is a good third person open world game that you guys should play uh, i'm even thinking about playing the other games so just something to think about so that being said that's gonna end this video shout out to thq nordic for hooking me up with a copy of the game really enjoy playing this and also i'm going to be playing not only on the ag versus game channel but on my twitch channel throughout the months throughout the year however long it takes me to beat it but i am on the adventure to complete this game so with that being said follow all the spots get this game if you like third person if you like shooters if you like open world games if you like games with lots of lore and just beautiful look at look at this look at the scenery here man. beautiful scenery right Check this game out. But with that being said, I'm off. I'm going to get some things done. I'm going to play some more games. You know how I roll. And I'll see you guys next show, next video. I'm out of here. Peace.